We're going to cover AV in this video and it's basically an Emacs package that allows you to quickly move around in the buffer and windows in Emacs. So it's super awesome, super fast and it's a really low investment in time required to be able to use it. So definitely check it out. Be sure to check out the blog post that comes with the video and subscribe to the channel. So AV is one of those packages that really doesn't take very much effort to learn and there's a lot of benefit. So it helps you very quickly move from uh, where you are to any place in the visible buffer and it even works across different windows and frames or different windows at least. Um, so it's really cool and it's available in Melpa so we can go ahead and install it by just heading over to Emacs and Alt X package list packages and then we can do a search for AV and you'll see there's two options we've got uh, GNU or one here and then there's one available in the Melpa stable and I'm going to use Melpa stable one but I don't think it matters too much so we'll select it with I and then run the installation with X and then hit Y for yes and then we can check out our .emacs configuration file and we see AV is right here and let's go ahead and set it up you only need to do a tiny bit of configuration to get AV to work and it tells you how to do it on the github page basically we just need to set a key binding to one of the commands and so the first one that they show is AV go to car so we can basically copy this and I'm going to set it to what they recommend or what they're using which is control colon and that will set up AV go to car so we'll paste it here and save the file and reevaluate the buffer so we can run the command and we'll give it a try so control shift colon and then you'll see it says car so now we can type a letter let's say G and it'll give us all of these different options so now we just have to type whatever we want and it'll take us to that character so H and see now my cursor is here so just with very small amount of key presses you can get exactly where you want you'll even be able to use multiple windows so it works uh, with multiple windows as well so uh, let's see A so we can type in two letters to get to the bottom buffer. So I'm gonna do KD, and there it is. It does not work with uh, multiple frames out um, by default though. So if you were to do a new frame, and I don't know, let's say E. So E, uh, you'll notice it doesn't work. So what we have to do is add a configuration and it's right here if you do set Q AV all windows all frames then you can make it work so uh, I'm gonna paste that and eval buffer and now let's give it a try CX52 and there we go now it works so my uh, cursor is here let's make it go here with lk and there it is the rest of these options are basically just alternative methods to um, getting where you want to go so there's av go to car 2 where instead of typing just one letter you type two letters and the benefit of that is it gives you less options. So if you have a lot of the same stuff, uh, that it can get pretty messy with all the um, options that you would press. So you may like having to type two characters. There's also the AV go to car timer. A lot of people prefer AV go to car timer 
because it allows you to type as much or as little as you want rather than just typing one or two characters. And then it has a timeout that will take you there automatically if there's only one option. So I already went ahead and set it up and restarted Emacs with control um, hyphen colon for the timer function. And I set the timeout to four seconds with this line here. And so once you do that, you can give it a try. So we'll do uh, we'll type in the car and then we can type in as much as we want. So let's say, you know, global hyphen s. So you wait four seconds and then it takes you there automatically. So, and if there's more than one option, you just type in E and it'll show all the E's available. And then the next step would be to pick the one that you want. But again, what's nice is it'll take you there automatically or it'll allow you to pick your options. And then if you get done before the timeout occurs, you can just hit enter. So I can do, uh, let's do set Q. So set Q. And then I've got multiple options, so I just hit enter. And then I can choose which one I want to go to. So using the timer, a lot of people prefer that one. And I think I do as well, but it's just a matter of experimenting and seeing which one you like best. And obviously four seconds is a little much. So maybe, I mean, default is 0.5, so you can do whatever you want. I like to think a little bit, so I don't know, maybe one second. But again, that is up to you. AV go to line is another really cool function available. And you'll probably want to use this in addition to, you know, go to car or go to car timer because, you know, um, it's not as specific as the other commands. But again, this one's really cool as well. There's a few other commands that I found that I'm not going to go through all of them. But if you look in the source code, you can see there's quite a few commands that aren't listed in the documentation. Um, so you can like AV move region and copy region are two things that I could definitely see using quite a bit. So I went ahead and changed my config to use AV move region just to demonstrate it. And I restarted it obviously. So let's go ahead and see what this does. So if we do the command, the key binding for AV move region, then we can select two different lines. So I'm going to do KK for now. And then it asks for the next line. And I will choose LG. And it just took all of the selection between the two lines that I selected and moved it to the top of where the cursor was. So it just basically cop, um, cut and pasted to where the cursor was. So this could be super helpful when you're trying to move code around and it works in bet between frames, windows and buffers as well, which makes it even more awesome. But you may have issues because it won't work underneath what is the visible buffer. So it only works with what you can see currently. So that may pose problems but play around with it and maybe use a combination of different packages or just search around and see if there's you know, a way that you can make it work. The last thing I'll cover is iSearch and the best thing to do to set this up is just to use the AV hyphen setup hyphen default. And I already did that in my Emacs config here. And then you restart Emacs or eval buffer. And then basically it, it binds this um, iSearch, AV iSearch to control and apostrophe. So what you'll do is you can run a search with control S and then maybe do something like uh, uh, global, I guess. And it's a failing search because it's at the bottom, but we can see that it's finding them up here. And so once you have a search term, you can press control apostrophe and then it'll allow you to select an option. So I'll just do S and then it takes my cursor to that option. All in all, AV is a really powerful way to move around the buffers and windows and frames with um, an Emacs. So it's super helpful and you probably won't use everything that we talked about, but you'll at least you know be able to figure out what works for you and what you like and then use that to improve your workflow.
Hey all you techno geeks, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Please give the video a like, leave a comment letting me know what you thought, and subscribe to the channel, and visit my website, truthseekers.io, where I'm trying to build a community of programmers and tech enthusiasts. I've got all sorts of stuff like learning to code challenges, tutorials on teaching you how to code, and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out and see what uh, what's there, what's cooking over there. So have fun everyone, enjoy the rest of your day.